If you want to be able to keep track of all the changes that you or anybody else makes within your workbook, then you want to turn on the Track Changes feature, which can be found up here on the Review tab, going to the Changes group, and it's right there. Go ahead and click on Track Changes, and go down and select Highlight Changes. Then come down below and check Track Changes While Editing, but also know that this also shares your workbook, which is interesting because in addition to keeping track of the changes, it also shares it. And if you want to learn more about what sharing does, then you can watch my training video on sharing workbook, and you can see the features within the same group right next to Track Changes, the Share Workbook feature that is. And you can say, well, couldn't I just go ahead and use the Share Workbook feature instead? Uh, I suppose, but there are differences between the two. First off, that when you use the Highlight feature, any changes you make gets highlighted, where in the Share Workbook feature, they don't get highlighted, but it will keep track of them. And when anybody else makes changes to the workbook, when you use the Share Workbook feature, it'll highlight the cells, but if you make any changes, all the highlights disappear. They don't stay up. Where with the Highlight Changes feature, it'll always keep the changes highlighted. That is, until you uncheck the Highlight Changes on the screen, or you accept or reject the changes, which will clear the Excel's memory of them. Having said that, we can go ahead and with it turned on, we can choose which changes to highlight. We can say, well, when all changes are made, or since it was last saved, or since a specific date, or who, everyone or somebody else, or where. If you check where, you can click on its collapsible dialog box button and select a range. So any changes made within the range, it'll keep track of. Or you can just say, I want to highlight every change. Not just when, not just with who, not just with where, but unchecking all of them highlights all the changes. And then you can go ahead and click Okie Dokie. And it says the action will now save the workbook. And notice up here on the title bar before I click OK, it says tracking changes. But when I click OK, it has the word shared because now it's in shared mode. So any changes that I make, like over here, I type in one, hit enter. Hey, there you go. Keeps it highlighted, tracks it when you hover over it. Gives you a pop-up and it says, hey, it was me on this date at this time, and in cell B4, it was changed from 150 to 1. Cool. Now, we'll go ahead and have Carrie open up the workbook and make some changes because it is being shared, and if she has access to this workbook through the network, then she can make changes. And as you recall in the Share Workbook training video, any changes that I make doesn't get updated to the network until I click Save. Once I click Save, then somebody who opens it up will be able to see those changes. Or if they already have it open, they won't be able to see those changes until after they click Save on their end, and vice versa. Any changes they make while I'm working on it, it doesn't come over into my view until I click Save. So Saves it puts it up, and Saves it pulls it in. Puts up your work, your changes, and pulls in any other changes that somebody else has made while working on this workbook at the same time. Now I think there might be a bug with Excel, because this worked in Excel 2013, the exact same steps that I showed in the Excel 2013 training video on tracking changes. But just in case that it's not a bug, and it's got something to do with my network, which I don't believe, I think it's a bug, but you can let me know, that it's not allowing Carrie to go ahead and open up this quote-unquote shared workbook on the network. It's saying that it's not shared. In other words, it's telling her to either notify me that she wants access to it, or she can only open it up under read-only mode. She can't make changes. So to get around this, what I have to do is I have to go ahead and turn off the sharing part. By coming up here, you can go to Track Changes to highlight and uncheck this, or you can click on Share Workbook and unshare it. It does it either way. So we'll just do it here since that's where we started and click Okie Dokie. And it says, hey, it'll remove the workbook from being shared. Are you okay with this? Of course. And then the shared part of the title is gone. So to get around this, if it is a, an Excel bug, and I've come across Microsoft bugs throughout all of my training since Office 2000, and it happens. But to get around this, if you really want to use the Highlight Shared feature, then come down below and first, let's go to the Share Workbook feature and turn it on that way. Go ahead and check the box Allow Changes by more than one user, then click OK. Click OK to turn the shared feature on. As you can see, it's up in the title bar, so now it's being shared. Then come over here and click on Track Changes to highlight all changes. And I want to uncheck when because I want to keep track of all changes, not just when or with who or where, and limit myself. Let's go ahead and click OK. And it says no changes were found. And it says to highlight all changes, then uncheck the when, who, and where options. Uncheck all of them as I just did. Well, just the one, the when. So all of them are unchecked. Click Okie Dokie. And then I can go ahead and make a change. 150, hit Enter. and it highlights it. Go ahead and hover over it. 
gives me the note of who, when it was changed, and from what, in what cell. And let's go ahead and have Carrie now open it up and then make some changes. And I suppose before I do that, I ought to save it so it uploads my change to the network. So when she opens up the same workbook, she'll be able to see the change, or if she already has it open up, she just has to click Save to pull in my change. In any case, she'll go ahead and make some changes on her end, and then when she's done, she'll click Save. And she said she did that, so let me come over here and click Save to pull in those changes. And it says it's been updated with changes made by others. Click Okie dokie, and whew, there's that light green. You probably can't see it, but it's right there, 2, 3, 4, so when I hover over it, pops it open and says, hey, Carrie made this change. The cell C4 used to be 100, now it's 2. Oh my goodness, that's a low number. And then there's the other change right here and the other change right there. Cool. Highlighting all the changes when I click off and click Save, it keeps those highlights up. Until, like I said, I come back up here and click on Track Changes down to Highlight Changes and say, look, I don't want to highlight the changes on the screen anymore. And let's go ahead and click Okie Dokie gets rid of the highlights, but it still keeps track of the changes. So as you recall in the Share Workbook training video, when you want to go ahead and go, okay, where were the changes? And how can I go ahead and accept and reject them? Because if I come back up here to track changes to say, okay, let me go ahead and highlight them again. Let me uncheck this and, and click okie dokie. They do get highlighted again, but think of how annoying that's going to be when you have to hover over it saying, oh, I don't like that change. Let me hover over it to find out what it used to be. It's 100, and then come in here and type in 100 to override it with your change. I mean, if you've got a lot of those to go through, and that's too slow, just come up here to the track changes to accept or reject changes, and it's got to save the workbook before it can proceed and click okie dokie. And then let's see, which changes, those that haven't been reviewed yet? Okay, that's fine, click okie dokie. Goes to the first one and it says, okay, this was made by Kurt Kershaw, that was me. It was changed from 1 to 150. Do you want to accept it or reject it? We'll accept it. Goes to the next change and it kept track of all the changes made. First it was by me, first the original value, then by Carrie, and then by me. And you can see the times here just three minutes later. I made the change back to 100. Let's see, do I want to accept this or reject it? Well, go ahead and select the one that you want to accept. If you want to accept it as the 100 or maybe carry back to 2, click Accept. Goes to the next one. And you can accept all or reject all. We can say reject all. And it says there were two changes that were made without reviewing them. Are you okay with this? Yes. So without reviewing them, I rejected them. And so they went back to their numbers. And these were these two that were made by carry. Cool. And we still have the others highlighted. And if I come back up here to track changes and try to do it again, accept or reject, those that not reviewed yet, well, they have been reviewed if I uncheck it and then go ahead and click okie dokie. We just have the two left, and so I can go ahead and narrow that down. So when I accept those, reject those, if I go ahead and accept and reject, well, now I'm just back to my own change here that I can go ahead and accept or reject that again. But as far as Carrie's changes go, it cleared out Excel's memory. So if I come up here, and go down to accept reject again and click OK. There are no more changes to accept, but it still has my change highlighted, which we know how to turn off again. Just come up here, track changes to highlight changes. We don't want to see those changes anymore and click okie dokie and it gets rid of it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products please see the description below this video.